Hey there, everyone. This is Rao Cow playing some VIP3. Let's go ahead and go ahead. Last time we uh, unlocked up here on this little hill place looking area here, it would be called simply quite mysterious place. So let's go ahead. It is a mysterious place. Oh my god, look at that. He's so mysterious. He's big and fuzzy, and there's a an narrative that's telling us to go back. But backward is not the path of progress. How mysterious to 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 exaggerate the point. So I guess this is some sort of puzzle-like thing to get the VIP coin, and this is a uh, I totally flubbed my you need to run here midpoint, but that's not a midpoint. Whatever. Then just go jump and try to make it. What the hell? Uh, what? So you need to really have a running start. That's great. That's fantastical now that Boone has learned how to out whoa <laughs> do not be so excited there mr. shell it is no freaking Jesus hell god bananas that is totally pointless but whatever let's just kind of fall in this vip place vip with the moon here hidden all up in the skybox yeah, whoa, what is the hell are you? You are little cat, which are yellow, and thus able to succumb to death quite easily. Look at them, the choo-choo train! Oh my god, the most awesome thing ever. <laughs> oh man, yeah, my throat is all like all over the place these days, so uh, sometimes I start to cough when I laugh. This place is all weird. Reminds me of that one place in VIP 1, actually. It's like, whoa, when there's a mushroom. And then we can just navigate this strange, the strange, very strange path. There's some yellow box here, which is kind of funny, because it's impossible to get the yellow switch before here, but whatever. We're not going to argue the case, and that was somewhat of a close call, maybe, perhaps, if you're very frightened of silverware. Okay, so, wow, this is kind of... Stupid, well, whatever, we're, we're going to take it. Them turtles, they can swim, for they are turtles, and thus pretty much require water to live. There's a little break of water there, it's like, Welcome to New Jersey! Have your soda pop ready for inspection, for there are several materials we do not accept upon these lands, uh, such as, well, I, I don't really have any any examples at hand, but that's okay. It's It's okay to laugh at the trouble of others. Now there's little rectangly shaped shadow action going on there. That's pretty weird looking actually. This would be called This is too easy, followed by an extremely long ellipses. So you need to stay especially long, I guess, afterwards. I don't know. Wow, whoa, okay. So okay, so enemies dying for no reason, that's always fantasticalicious. Let us reap the reward of our greed. Well that sure is it. That is sure is interesting. So yeah, this is this is one of them weird levels that looks kind of newbie-ish to be honest. But let's just go ahead and ride a rail. Look at that, there's a chainsaw. Is that not accelerating? Accelerate your breath and stuff. So, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, enjoy the ride here on this little rail ride. It's pretty high intense action. I would have a choice between those two uh, paths apparently. And I've taken the upper path. Don't know if the lower path is any different or something, but whatever. Following the curves, I don't know if it's supposed to draw anything, but it looks kind of weird here. Actually, it looks like a worm's mouth, more, more, more than anything, but whatever. There is the little guy. Oh my god, the first enemy in like several long seconds, and uh, there he goes. All happy and merry and uh, filled with cheese. Yeah, this is a very strange world, if anything. It is quite strange, and I would use strangeness as a qualifier. Which looks like there's supposed to be stuff, but it's just missing. Whatever, there's a radish, there's a rock, and there's a midpoint. Put all that together, what do you get? A duo of flowers! Hey there, little boulder man, how do you do? I don't know. Oh my god, that chainsaw could almost have sort of kind of maybe being a danger to my health. That one did, I have banged into its motor, and I've learned to appreciate Pop Rock for what it is. So yeah, this is, uh, this is, uh, this is too easy, in fact. It's a, it's a good name. Whoa! Watch out there, Charlie Brown. Whoa, freaking demo. It's a demo, see that even if a level is too easy, even said so by the author, if you're an idiot, you're gonna get killed. That's just how Dwar Darwin works, you know? Why did I do that? Of all of my options, why did I decide that was the best one to follow? I am quite uncertain. I'm taking the lower path here, pretty hardcore for some reason. Don't know why. 
I do not know why. Knowledge, whoa, is not amongst the living here. There's a big old empty block. That's pretty awesome. I like big empty blocks. Whoa, those blocks have pointless platform. Oh my god, it's a big old friendly face. I know it's a friendly face. It is the forest smiling at us with good measure and, and politeness. Well, there goes the time police, even though, you know, it's uh, the time police. There's a whole multitude of colored radishes down there. That is just fine. Wow, and that is some weird, crazy pattern action on the rope bridge. Because, why the hell not? What is strange, the filler levels in the VIPs tend to be rather strange. They're not dull so much as just flat out strange. It opens a path of bridge out up here to this little island where some people have decided to construct a giant button on it. Hey little Lakitu, how are you doing? So let's go ahead and do that. Slide into the yellow switch. By Timmy, age 7. Let's go, oh yeah, I remember this level now. It's somewhat of a race. Because you need to see here, this goes there and it's like, whoa, and then I lost. Let's, okay, let's, oh, oh, my microphone, okay, ah, what, whoa, 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 okay, uh, okay, so I need to hurry up, and uh, I'm gonna hurry up, and there's some lemonade, there's that thing there, and it's all like, whoa, is it close enough, I don't know, I need to hurry, something, Johnson McCain and the Planeteers. Oh, okay, so I need to hurry up more. I need to hurry up more. I need to hurry. I need to go faster. Some lemonade. That is quite delicious, if you don't mind. Will I get killed? Will I get through? I do not know. Gee, um, uh, the, uh, the fark. Fark. Okay, that's... Okay, I need to... Oh, wait, wait. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Considering a big part of the race is the fact that, you know, I need to be the switch. I need to be the switch and the shell. They're like intermediate pieces of uh, pieces of the puzzle. I need to hurry up, because you see I need to hurry up because of the shell there. Then I need to make it there. And there it is, I made it. Yellow switch is busted. And we are in the yellow hallway where nothing happens. And there it goes. Wow, there's not even any, any messages. There, this is a very minimalistic piece of... Uh, of poetry here. Shell, emptiness, surprise. I think there's a lot to learn sometimes from the more Dadaist pieces of work out there, if only because they bring us to understand other things. It's kind of interesting that I have 25 lives and I have yet to be the first world, but whatever. Uh, that's three levels, uh, so that's going to be it. Join me, this is Rao Cow. Short video. Nothing is to be done about that. Maybe I'll do another one later tonight. I don't know where I guess we're gonna see. This is Rao Cal playing some VIP 3. Join me next time. I just said that. I have just said that. Repeating oneself, after all, is the most crucial part of being an LP person. Remember that. Oh yes, yeah, so see you guys.